Welcome back to the Mouse Diva channel. Look, I'm wearing ears. I rarely wear ears in my videos anymore. It's because basically I just forget. I'm just normally in a rush to set things up and get it done and just totally forget to put on my ears. I wanted to be in the spirit of this video. When I was filming my Walt Disney World haul from the August 2020 trip, which by the way, went up in two different videos because it would have been almost an hour long if I wouldn't have broke it up. Like, I think it would have been like 15 minutes. Like, that's insane. So, I did break it up in two parts. I hope you saw both of them. I'll at least link them down in cards, if not at the very end of the video. So, in number one, I mentioned that, I think it was number one, I don't think it was number two, that I had something else that I bought, but I wasn't going to show you guys because I was going to be working on a little project, and I would show you then. So, that's what this video it is. Just this little something I wanted to do with that item that I bought and as soon as I saw it I knew exactly what I was gonna do. You know it has something to do with pens and it's a pen display and it is a nightmare before Christmas pen display. Now I do have four pens here that I'm going to show you. I have more nightmare before Christmas pens but unfortunately I can't get to all my pens right now. Long story. Um, so I can only get out the two most recent ones which were in that that haul because I did just pick these up on that August trip and you guys know I've really slowed down on my pen buying um, Funko Pops kind of took over <laughs> my life and uh, the pens got put on the back burner I know some of you guys are going what pens on the back burner no but yeah it has. So these I got then. The other two I actually had out because I have a Nightmare Before Christmas display that I keep out all year long and this was actually already on that display. Well with that display. I won't say on it because it's a whole shelf full of stuff. And you wouldn't be able to see unless I move the backer card but this is a limited release. It is a Disneyland pen. I bought this on a um, Instagram live sale years ago. I already had this one. This one is a limited edition pen of 4,000. It came out in 2018. It has the hinge element. Isn't that great? Love it. Look at that. The original price for this pen was $10.95 I think. Yeah, those were the days. <laughs> um, let's see. So here's the rest of the backer card. I like my backer cards on. I always keep them. I normally, um, if I do buy them used, which hasn't been for over a year now, um, I try to only get the ones with backer cards. There's a few I love so much that I went ahead and got them without the backer cards, but actually it's broke the sale for me many a times when they don't have the backer card. I, I won't buy them, um, especially if I'm trying to complete a set because I'll have the backer cards and I can't have a pen in a set and not have the backer card. You guys have seen my bendable Santa Jack here. I think I got him about three years ago. I'm going to be using him in this display. I actually did a real fun montage with him, two of them actually, uh, that I put on my Life's a Whirlwind channel because I don't think I had my Mouse Diva channel at that point. I will link one of those at the end. Um, definitely watch the first one, number one first, and then try and find number two. It's just a fun little video where Santa Jack here is the star of the show. I cannot believe I paid 
$30 for this item, but I did get 30% off you know, in my defense. If I wouldn't have had 30% off, it was the annual pass holder 30% off, I wouldn't have paid $30 for this. So it is actually a stocking. Uh, we got off the Tower of Terror and in their gift shop, they have a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, display. And as soon as I saw Mr. Burlap Oogie Boogie here, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to turn him into a pen display because he's burlap. Like it's absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my four pins because can't find the rest right now. I'm going to go ahead and put the pins on him and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here we go with the pens. It's a little bit harder to get the pens in than I would have expected because the inside is lined. It's one of the reasons I bought it because in the store I checked, you know, because it's a stocking, I checked that um, it was separated so I knew that the pen back would go all the way, wouldn't go all the way through. Um, so as you can see, yes, I kept my backer cards. The reason, okay, and then this. So you notice this was actually the tag, it was up here, the tag to it. But I wanted to keep it like underneath right here, it says stocking behind this pen because it just, it's cool, it looks like a coffin. And then I'm like, oh wait a minute, it's almost like the perfect shape to um, go along with this one. So I just put zero down here, one, hold it in place because you know, it's just a little card and two, to block the words that say stocking. And I think it worked just fine. Looks good. Like those two just kind of even it out there on the bottom. And then since this had the backer card, it went in the middle. And um, so this one I took off the backer card because that would like clash really wouldn't look good. It looks better not on the backer card. What I wish is I wish the Oogie Boogie here I wish it was in the front. I know it has to be in the back, but I wish it was in the front so that, you know, you could see the Oogie Boogie. Now, this is what I'm thinking about doing because you're like, well, how are you incorporating Santa Jack in there? And there we have it. Oogie Boogie's eating Santa Jack. Really does look like that, doesn't it? <laughs> but I had to add him. I, like, he's perfect. I mean, I could even if I wanted to because he's so bendable. He's awesome. Um, I could actually do this like he just has his arm in there like he's eating one arm. That's one of the reasons I put this on this side because I knew Santa was going on that side. So what is your opinion? I, I need to, you guys to tell me. Um, do you think Santa should stay like this with just one arm in his mouth? Or do you think he looks better hanging out? Um, hanging out, he leaves more of a bare spot. That's, that's fine. It gives me the opportunity to when I go back to Disney, checking in on October 3rd, maybe I can find another pen to go there. And I have so much room. I mean, I could put a pen he, on his arms. I, you know, I have more room to add pens. So I think it worked out just right. I think it's perfect. But again, please comment below and let me know which way you think Santa Jack should be. Thank you again for visiting my channel. I hope that you are a subscriber. Hit that bell notification button because you never know what type of video I'm going to put up next because it's a big variety of videos, right? Um, you definitely want to see our um, October trip. We're staying six nights. It's just Mr. Mouse Diva and I. So you'll want to see what we're going to do and where we're going to stay. We're staying the first four nights in one place and two nights in another place. All right, guys, I will see you at the parks. Every city.